When it comes to talking to actors, there's no end to how many mistakes you can accidentally make yeah. or, or how many different approaches you have to have for each person. And I would think it'd be a huge uh, benefit to know everyone so well that you were talking to. Well, the one, the one thing that is bringing up for me is before we started, Lauren said to me, all right, when you're directing me, if I say, I got it, I got it, I got it, I don't want to hear anymore. And I was like, okay, it was like, do you know what I mean? It was like, just for our relationship, because um, she's very good at t t hearing a little bit and then running with it. And so she didn't want to get caught in a situation where I'd be over explaining and something, getting annoyed with me and we'd you know, have some conflict or whatever. But I assume it must have also been strange for you to step over to the other side and immediately see acting from a different perspective once you're directing it. Very instructive. There were things that I didn't like about certain director's direction. And so I knew I wasn't gonna be doing those things. So I'd already directed some plays, but you, know, you never frame anything in the negative for an actor because hopefully the actor's open and only give them something positive to do so that they're not suddenly, because you don't want that, that inner critic to start to you know, appear. That's, that's death to an actor was when you're like inside watching yourself. You know, one trick is always like, that was great, let's try one where you and then make another suggestion, you know, and you never, and I've had some directors in the past who've been like, here's what you were doing, you were doing it, and that doesn't work because, and then all I'm thinking is like, then you're negative inside your head, right? you know, and that's just not helpful. What was sort of uh, a big eye opener when you went to the other side of the camera that you hadn't considered before? There's a thing with acting where sometimes the director will ask you to do something and you're hesitant because you don't believe in it and you don't want it to be in the cut. So you'll get stingy. But in terms of rhythms in a, in a piece, because there is some music to it, um, you want to have some choices in the editing room. And so directing on film made me a more generous actor since directing on Parenthood in terms of working with directors. Like, whatever they're telling me, they want this whole thing to be good. This is my small contribution in it. And if they're seeing that it could be a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that, just give it to them. Right. Because there's a reason. And that was something too that Tommy Shlomi said to me years ago when we were on sports night. He said, just know that everybody here wants you to be great. I was struggling with something that we were working on and, um, and that is something I try to hang on to is that whatever set you're on, everybody wants you to be great. Shlomi also said, just know that everybody here is working very hard at their job. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>